So, I have been talking a lot of you down from the ledge lately. A lot of you have been on a precipice of this never-ending abyss. You're staring into the darkness. You're wondering what the hell is going on. And all you want to do is to reach out to your ex because your anxiety is at 200%, which also means your interest is probably at 200%. You just want answers. You just want to hear their voice. You just want to feel them, touch them again. And I hear you. And it's okay to feel that way. In fact, you're meant to feel this way right now. But I'm going to try and talk you down from the ledge today. I'm going to try and just to say, hey, just take a step back. Breathe. And just focus on your feelings. Just focus on how you feel right now. Just focus on your breathing. Journal how you're feeling. In fact, you can write the message out and send it to a safe person. And you can even write it down on an an email and send it to me and I'll read it. The whole idea behind that is to actually perform the act of reaching out to your ex without actually reaching out to your ex. You've typed down what you wanted to type or you've written down what you wanted to write. And you've gone through the process of actually sending it. And it may or may not alleviate some of your anxiety, but you've got it off your chest. Now, the thing with this type of anxiety is that it can take you back to day one of the relationship, or it can take you back to the day where you really felt the full force of it being over. And this is your survival mechanisms. It's their way of fucking with you and say hey you better go back to the last place you felt safe because you won't be okay by yourself but if you can reframe that and you know tell yourself and and know that you will be okay by yourself and that it's just a bump in the road you're now on a separate path it's taking a detour and it's spewed out into a tangent that you wasn't expecting and you can make the best of that then you will be okay but I do fully appreciate that the anxiety that you're feeling right now is crippling, it's paralyzing, it's stopping you from getting out of bed, it's stopping you from going to work, it's stopping you from going on dates, it's stopping you from seeing your friends and enjoying life. And it's okay. You're meant to feel that way right now. But let's just take the next few seconds just to breathe i just want you to take a few deep breaths in through your nose hold it for a few seconds and out through your mouth and while you're doing this i want you to just focus on your breathing just tell yourself in your head everything is breathe breathing is everything and just repeat these words and while you're focusing on that and while you're repeating these words There's a high degree of probability that for those few seconds, you won't think about your ex, you won't think about how shit you feel right now. And that's the starting point of processing and getting over your ex and and moving on is just finding little, she would say, safe points throughout the day or pit stops just to not think about your ex for 30 seconds. And it starts off with just 30 seconds and that 30 seconds becomes a minute. That minute becomes an hour, that hour becomes a day, the day becomes a week and the week turns into months and before you know it, you're not thinking about your ex so much anymore. You may think about them every now and then, but it won't cripple you anymore. You'll look back on it with curiosity and you'll remember the good times and you'll remember that they're part of your story. They make up part of your personality now and You thank them for the memories and you thank them for everything that they gave you. And you allow that to shape you in a way that you know what you don't want in a relationship anymore. This allows you to become more analytical and you start to see the shit that they got wrong. And in most cases, guys, your 
ex got things wrong. They're a human being. They're flawed like everybody else, but they've dumped you, which automatically puts them in, in a position of strength and, and power, and then you place them on a very large pedestal. And you often think to yourself, I will never get someone as good looking as that person. I will never get someone as funny, as caring, as charismatic, as deep as them. Which is all bullshit. It's just a story that we tell ourselves. There are other people out there. And as I say so many times, there's 7.6 billion people out there. Even if you're only compatible with 10% of that, that's millions of people. Now, obviously, we're not going to meet millions of people in our lives. But you're single now. The, the playground is opened. You've got the potential to get out there and to have fun and find that special someone that will connect with you and when you find your equal when you find that that man or woman or whatever your preference is that completely knocks your block off you're not going to be thinking about your ex anymore so anxiety is temporary it's just a temporary feeling and if it's crippling you to the point i highly recommend that you just go for a run run until your lungs start burning or your legs won't carry you anymore go and lift some heavy weights journal meditate speak to a therapist you can contact me for a coaching session and we can talk it out if this video isn't enough for you today whatever way you choose choose just choose to do something other than sit in there all day now there is a time and a place to sit with your anxiety, to experience it, to understand it, and to fully appreciate why it's there. The anxiety is there for a reason. So, if you are feeling anxious right now, if you're waking up feeling anxious in the mornings or before you go to bed and you just can't shake that horrible black hole in the middle of your stomach, sit with it. Give it 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Once that's done, practice some deep breathing practice some meditation, journal, exercise, plan a trip, take up a new hobby. And I've mentioned many times that after my breakup, I, my hobby of choice was to go and learn the drums. And I'll tell you one thing, guys, the day that I walked into my music school, my music school and I started talking to my drum teacher, it was the first time it was the first time in maybe four or five months that for one hour I did not think about my breakup I did not think about my ex and I did not think about how shit my life felt at that particular point I was just so focused on what I had to do and I just lost myself in the music it was euphoric it was liberating it was a much needed respite it's like when you maybe hold your leg or arm in the same position for too long and you, you can finally put it down it was just that that instant relief that comes from it and lo and behold 19 months on i'm still playing the drums i, I love it and i've become pretty decent at doing it and it's no longer a thing to soothe my anxiety or to escape how i was feeling about my breakup it's now become a passion which I pursue wholeheartedly. So something that I chose to distract me has become a hobby and a passion that I love and it's given me so much and I've met so many people out of it. So I hear you. I know how you feel right now. I mean, I can't know exactly how you feel. We all perceive reality slightly differently based on our life experiences and our philosophy but there are parallels with all emotions and feelings so i can empathize i can sympathize and i can say i hear you and i can say you will be okay and i can say what you're feeling right now is totally normal and it's totally okay so Give yourself a break. Give yourself love. Give yourself the time to heal. Most importantly, tell yourself that you're normal. You're enough. And 
things will get better. You will be fine. Anxiety is something that makes us feel out of control. And in a way, you are. You are out of control. You have no control over what your ex does, says and feel. But you are in control of what you do and how you respond and how you choose to move on from this point. So it may take you some time. You may be taking very, very, very small baby steps every day, but forward is forward. And as long as you're moving forward, as long as you are giving yourself love and validation and affection, you will get through this very dark time. And that, my friends, is my honest advice on how to soothe anxiety. We don't want to deal with it. We want to soothe it because if we're dealing with it, then it will come back. Finding ways to soothe it is the way forward. That's all I've got for today. I hope this has been helpful. And to all the guys that have been reaching out to me, I hear you. I feel you. I'm responding to the emails as quickly as I can and I'm arranging the coaching sessions, the voice coaching sessions as quickly as I can. You're going to be okay. And if you want to talk it out with me, my details are below. Email me at thelovefix20 at gmail.com and we'll talk about your situation and we'll get you on the right path. I'll see you on the other side.